Hi, Ultimate Steve here. Guess what? My mic wasn't on this entire time. Uh, anyway, we are... <laughs> okay, so, we have a relay that we just jettisoned. Uh, and, uh, yeah, okay, I have to do the whole intro again. Hello, everyone, Ultimate Steve here, and welcome back to another episode of whatever I'm calling this series, where we're exploring the plant jam pack. Um, so what I have here, I know we were focusing on rescuing Val, but I can't go without knowing uh, what the surface of this 100 atmosphere moon looks like. Like, it's just it's just been, like, in the back of my head for a, a long while. Uh, and, uh, so we, we sent a relay here, uh, and that was the part we just jettisoned. It was on our uh, lower stage, which is some, a lesson I learned from my earlier failure to put the relay on the correct stage. Uh, <laughs> So what's the atmosphere of this planet's height? It's, uh, I know it's really high. 163, okay. So there's not, like, any, like, huge reason to do this. It's just a fun thing. Like, we're not in pursuit of anything. We just want to get science and we want to see the cool stuff here. And you get to watch me maybe burn up on re-entry and see, uh, how interesting of a planet this is. Well, it's a moon. Uh, and yeah, the relay is in a good position. It'll be consistently overhead while we're in the daylight. I think that's probably some of the best relay positioning I've done. So let's burn all of our fuel now and descend into the uh, very not gentle, gen gentle, the, the, the very, the very not gentle atmosphere of Eskilos. As Eskilos? Eskilos? Eskilos. I'm going to call it Eskilos. Uh, there's, there's just not really any pronunciation guide, I don't think. So if the people who made this are watching and, uh, crying at me, uh, <laughs> uh, pronouncing things weirdly. Well, just, it's, it's you guys who didn't include pronunciation guides, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, just kidding. You guys are great at what you do. So I don't know what's below those clouds. For all I know, this could be a gas giant. It says that its surface is obscured, but that doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't have a surface. Now, while we're in the upper atmosphere, I want to transmit all the science here. First of all, let's go allow partial... So now we're just going to fall gently through the atmosphere until we hit whatever surface awaits us. Now it's time for the waiting game. I suppose it would be prudent to... Why is there lag? Stop lagging, please. Uh, toggle display and then pin this. So we're still we're at point 0.2 atmospheres. We're already slowing down, so we're still 124 kilometers up. Two atmospheres, three atmospheres. We're 105 kilometers up. <laughs> Four atmospheres. Five atmospheres. <laughs> we're at 100 kilometers and we're at six atmospheres. So I guess, okay. I thought 100 atmospheres was insane, but then I realized that's basically Venus, isn't it? So I guess it's not that insane to have a planet with 100 atmospheres of pressure. I could probably glide around the entire planet. If I want, well, moon. I keep calling it a planet, sorry. So we're going to let us go into a ballistic descent here. Oh wait, oh. I'm stupid. I was reading KPA as atmospheres. Because I think it used to have units of bar. That is one atmosphere. Ignore me, I'm being a little bit dumb today. <laughs> Haven't had the greatest day. Okay, so now we're at one atmosphere. Uh, I have an exam tomorrow. Where I have to know this sort of stuff. Uh, what, did anything break? Okay, nothing broke, it just... I got into two atmospheres and I can't do 12x time warp. I was on 12. Oh yeah, right. Standard physics warp. Okay, let's do just 4x time warp. Three atmospheres. 57 kilometers. I'm beginning to think this might actually be a gas giant because I don't see any volumetric clouds from here. I should have installed Kerbal Engineer so I could get better. Uh, detail of what's here. I don't even know if there's oxygen here or not. Wait, no. I do know if there's oxygen here, because if I open this, I can run uh, show spectroscopy results. Atmospheric composition analyzing. Nice, because it's a feature of Interstellar where I can see the exact atmospheric conditions. Assuming the mod authors add that. 9800. Uh, oh, okay, never mind, I didn't. It just shows me what resources are here. Okay. Hmm. Is this gonna be the same thing? 
We just passed six and a half atmospheres. Okay, yeah, that's the same thing. Okay, sea level and uh, land-based altimeter readings appear to be similar. We just passed 10 atmospheres. So unless there's like different biomes, there's like an ocean biome and a land biome, uh, it's gonna be, well, yeah, we're, we're not gonna know. Uh, are we low above this? Askeo's upper atmosphere, we're still upper atmosphere. So I don't know when lower atmosphere starts. It might be 40 kilometers. Log pressure data, upper atmosphere. Yo, I'm flying at like 20 meters per second and I haven't stalled. Hey, what's the uh, 11 atmospheres? 13 meters, 12 meters per second. Stall speed is like eight meters per second now. That's ridiculous, really awesome. What's causing a roll moment on this? Is it my science experiments? That's the only asymmetric thing on here. looking like I'm not really able to do physics warp through this atmosphere. Okay, what if I increase my drag a little bit? And then SAS probably won't spaz out if it's going a little bit slower. There we are. 16 atmospheres, 33 kilometers. Are we are we in the low atmosphere yet? Upper atmosphere. Still upper atmosphere. When does the lower atmosphere start? Because I really like to know. And how's our relay positioning doing? Oh yeah, we're still good for a long time on our relay. In fact, we were in danger of not being good because it might have been cut off by the planet. Although, oh, oh never mind. We're, we're also connected around the back end through reticulum. So, we're good. Like, pros of having a robust relay network. I'm just kidding, it's not robust. It's two relays. Okay, that's a bit alarming. That our solar panels appear to be melting. Uh, and we're only 30 kilometers up. Are we in lower atmosphere yet? Flying at Skios, yes. Uh, transmit data. I suppose I can get temperature data of the surroundings as well. Toggle display. 500 Kelvin. That's really hot. Flying at Eskios. So I'm not getting biome science for that. Uh, hmm. Run atmosphere analysis. Okay, let's transmit all that. And let's at least point our solar panels vaguely towards the sun. So when our batteries die, inevitably, we'll at least have, sorry, when our solar panels break, we'll at least have some battery left to transmit whatever you find on the surface. Twenty-four atmospheres. Six hundred Kelvin. And my knowledge of Kelvin scale isn't very good, so I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, I know that hot is hot. Yeah, I, I do not. I, I currently lack the ability to convert between the temperature scales in my head. Twenty-eight atmospheres. Oh, this reminds me of the old uh, that Futurama clip where like. However, they're going into this planet, and it's like, good lord, that's over so-and-so atmospheres of pressure. And then they ask, uh, well, how much can the ship withstand? And then he replies, <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, it's a spaceship, so I imagine anywhere between zero and one. <laughs> uh, okay, 31 atmospheres. 32 atmospheres. 33. We're only a third of the way, like, up the atmosphere scale. Come on, there's gotta be a cloud layer right here. Like, is it seriously just this? Like, it says the surface is obscured by thick clouds. Okay, what, let me read the description of this again. Elon's binary companion world, approximately one-sixth of the mass, appears to have been unable to escape the fate avoided by its partner. A thick layer of clouds fully obscures the surface of Eskios, 
and furthermore appears to glow a faint red, I haven't seen the red yet, indicating a decidedly unpleasant environment. The radius also implies one of two things. Either it has a small core, or an extremely thick atmosphere. Wait, is that a surface feature? I see a little strip there. I can just barely make out a surface feature. Maybe that's the ocean and this is the land? Yeah, I can just barely make out surface features now that I look really closely. I could have timed my landing to be a bit better. Uh, anyway. Water under the bridge. Yeah, my solar panels and science experiments are uh, really starting to heat up. We're at 700 Kelvin. So I am going to fly level for a bit to charge my batteries in the sunlight before I, before the sun goes away. 43 atmospheres and rising. Uh, we got... 1,097 Kelvin. I do believe that most hearts fail at 1,200 Kelvin, so it should be fine. But that might be an average surface temperature, and we're landing on the equator, so it's going to be warmer. So, I don't know how okay we'll be in the grand scheme of things. I don't think I'll ever send people here. But I might. It's weird. Wherever we point, we instantly go. Like, it's like what flying a TIE fighter looks like in Star Wars. Wherever you point, you just go, and you turn instantly. Now, the issue is going to be it's going to take ages to get down, like, into the, into the like, to land. Because 14 kilometers, okay, we're, we're getting there. 50 atmospheres, we're halfway through the bulk of the atmosphere. We're like nine kilometers up. We're like nearly two thirds of the way through the bulk of the atmosphere. You'd think I would be able to distinguish a surface feature by now. Unless it is just all gas. Because I'm not seeing any like Eve or Scatter cloud. I mean, I don't even know if I have Eve installed. Uh, but you'd think I'd see something by now. I do not see a single surface feature whatsoever. Like, is that the surface? Is it just. Featureless? Is that? Oh, that's a spot on my monitor. Uh, let me deal with that. Uh, the spot's not coming off of my monitor. Shoot. That's not a service. It's not a service feature. That's just my monitor being dirty. Hmm. 88 atmospheres. 2.5 kilometers up. I'm betting that this is a gas planet. Because there's no way that is a service feature. I'm not seeing any... Okay, well, I'm seeing a little bit of elevation difference on the horizon, but I think that's just the fact that it's trying to be a sphere, but you can't really have a sphere. 91 atmospheres, 2 kilometers. <laughs> 93 atmospheres. There's there's nothing here. I went all the way here. I was going to like do a cool thing. It said something about glowing red. And there's nothing here. Unless it's like floating like rocks on one side of the planet only. Oh, yep, it's a gas giant. That's a bit disappointing, not going to lie. So then what were those surface features I observed? Okay, those are just clouds then. Like, I am going to Alt F12 Cheats uh, Biome Viewer. Just because I want to make sure there isn't anything. Okay, there does not appear to be biomes on this planet. There is biomes on the other planet, but we expected that. So let's see how low we can go. Actually, hold on. What I want to do is, uh, can we get magnetospheric data from our current situation? No, we cannot. So there's really no reason to continue this mission. Uh, well, the guy who installed the, uh, the seismometer is probably feeling really useless right now. But anyway, let's uh, enjoy the joys of flight at, in 100 atmospheres of pressure. 98, 99, and let's see what our stall speed is, 99.5 atmospheres, 11, 10, like 5 meters per second, that's really cool. We can be in a stable 10 degree thing at six, like six s meters per second. That's really like, it's just like a bit like floating. 
Okay, 330 meters. Let's just let's just end this. Let's see how low we can get. Is there a custom biome for like beneath the surface? 70, 60, 50, 40, 30. All right, last bits above the surface. Is there a custom biome? Nope. Can we get back up just one second? Yes, we got above zero for a little bit. So that's going to be your last breath of not death. Oh, and we're only at 807. Oh, the bay is closed. Let's see if we can get more accurate temperature readings. Oh, the bays are open. Actually, no, we'll just plunge into it. Because, like, the other gas giants usually end at, like, negative 250 meters. I wonder if this one's the same or if it's just going to keep going. I hope it doesn't keep going. Because that would take forever. 237. 246. I'm gonna, take, I'm gonna like try and survive as long as possible. Oh, I didn't pull up in time. It froze in, so it probably blew up. 101 atmospheres. <laughs> and there we are. Curiosity is satisfied. A little bit disappointed, though.